what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new here this is charlie that's my son and i upload videos every week on motherhood lifestyle lots of other good stuff so make sure you hit the subscribe button if you don't already but today's video is going to be our updated nighttime routine so charlie is almost eight months old and we have an amazing nighttime routine he sleeps in his own room he sleeps throughout the night we have just finished taking cara baby's sleep course it was amazing i have a whole video about sleep training if you want to check that out like i said today's video is just going to be about our nighttime routine and although that really does start at around 6 p.m. There are a couple things that I wanted to share with you guys that we do beforehand. One of the main things with our nighttime routine is that every night it's pretty much the same thing and I try to stick to as close as possible as the time as you will see throughout this video and that's just because with sleep training and getting him to sleep through the night, getting him to sleep in his own room, I created a nighttime routine so that he can realize it's time for bed and that means he has to sleep a long period. So that's just what we've been doing for the past a couple weeks and it has really helped us with sleep training but yeah the first thing that we do is at around 4 30 we go for an afternoon walk it is winter here in new zealand it gets cold super fast and i mean like cold icy cold right bubba it is so so cold at the moment but it is so sunny like i'll show you guys the outside it's super sunny super cold so we try to get an afternoon walk as early as possible i find that if charlie's in a bad mood or if i'm like really stressed or i have a lot on my mind then getting an afternoon walk really <laughs> he's trying to grab my camera what are you doing yeah, as I was saying, getting an afternoon walk in is so important for us because it makes us dewind and just get prepared for nighttime and kind of like reduce the stress that we have. Oh, good boy, you you've got the camera. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go for our afternoon walk right now. Down here. Yummy, yummy. So, for dinner, Charlie is just having some butternut that I prepared earlier this morning. I try and prepare all of his meals in the morning because I find that my afternoons are like super hectic and I just have more time to prepare things in the morning. I tried to make butternut spaghetti and I overcooked it and it just went all mushy. So, we do a mixture of like baby lead weaning and pureed food, but Tonight he's just gonna have puree because my butternut spaghetti turned into butternut puree. I'm just gonna pop some lactose free cheddar on top of his butternut just for like extra flavors. So for majority of this video, I am gonna be doing a voiceover. I feel like that is the best way that I can show you guys our nighttime routine and explain why we do the things that we do. So right now it is 5.30, I am giving Charlie dinner and honestly 5.30 is just a random time that I picked that I feel like works best for our family. Once he's finished dinner, I just try to entertain him with whatever I can and just enjoy the time that we have together before he goes to bed. The next thing that we do is go have a bath and I always get him undressed inside the bathroom but I get him dressed in his pajamas inside the room. You guys will see that very soon. But I did also feel like I had to include this clip of him trying to roll away while I'm getting him undressed because that's honestly him all the time. Every time I'm trying to put clothes on him or off him, he's rolling around like crazy. One thing that I love to do is give him bath toys inside the bath. He loves to play with them. It just makes bath time more enjoyable for him. And 
yeah, like I mentioned, we always get dressed inside of his room. I feel like this is really important because I want to make his room a really enjoyable environment for him and somewhere where he feels really safe and calm. Like you guys can see, I still use the Mistella brand on him. His skin reacts really well, so I just haven't had any need to change it. And I do moisturize him almost every day at the moment because it is winter in New Zealand and his skin gets really dry. So one thing that I have added to our nighttime routine is getting his teeth brushed. He's got three teeth now, and although I'm not really trying to brush his teeth, I just want him to get used to the texture. So I just let him play with it and kind of just rub it against his gums. Once we're done brushing our teeth, we go inside his room and I let him play with some toys that he have inside his room. One thing that I do is the toys inside of his room, I don't give it to him throughout the day, which means that when he gets into his room, he's really excited to play with these toys because he hasn't seen them all day and it gives him a little reward to go inside of his room. We then have story time and that is honestly my favorite part of our nighttime routine. He's so calm, I get in some extra cuddles, he loves story time, he loves to touch all the books and yeah this is honestly my favorite part of the night. We then have a bottle, so this is a bottle that I pumped throughout the day and we have been doing this since he was around four months old. This works best for us because if Jamie's home, he can do it or I can do it. And we have found that every time I would breastfeed him before bed, he'd just fall asleep and he wouldn't really get enough milk that he needed. So the bottle has worked really well for us. Say good night. Good night. And that's pretty much our nighttime routine. I then chuck on his white noise. I pop him in his bed. He's got a sleeping bag. He's got his favorite teddy bear. I tell him how much I love him. I tell him how amazing he's doing. And he loves his bed now. He loves his room. And he's sleeping so, so well. So honestly, he's doing amazing. Alright guys, I'm going to be ending the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching our nighttime routine. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because that really supports my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.